Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt Hey, uh, Ian here. Just want to let you know. He means giving it, not getting it. Okay, thanks. Back to the song. It's a wild ride when you're being Ian, being Ian. And life is shit, but you're positive. Let's find out what it's like to live a life. Being Ian, being Ian. With Jordan. Tava. Okay. I if I don't remember this bowling for soup joke. Oh, all right. Set it up. Okay. We went to go see Less Than Jake. They sounded the Aquabats, really bad. And bowling for soup at Brooklyn Steel. Aquabats played for one hour. Bowling for Soup played for one hour. You were excited about seeing Bowling for Soup. I'm here for Bowling for Soup. I love Bowling for Soup. I, I don't listen love to them, them. in I high used school. To love them. Not high school, middle school. In middle school, Her I love Bowling Nona, for Soup. We walk there. into the area, the concert, crowd of people, band on, and Jordan goes, Who's this? And it I wasn't Bowling. Oh, yeah, it was. It's bowling for well, there soup. Was like and you didn't even know. Wiggles on stage. There was a then. thing behind that said bowling they for soup. They look really bad. They look they very are different. They've always fat. looked bad. They've always looked bad. They've been fat. But the guy singing, his talk voice sounded like he was a cartoon character in like a cool. He was like he was trying to keep kids off drugs. He yeah. was like, you can love rock and roll and be not get high. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was like yeah. that. <laughs> Here's a way to get and then high. The other guy with the high beard. on the fretboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then the other guy, he would be doing that. And then the other guy with a beard would be like, I'm going to fuck your pussy. And yeah, you're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy in a b- long beard, bald, and a kilt was like, repeat after me. I like to fuck. And the lead singer's like, kids, it's all about staying at school. It the lead singer is like my weird. nine-year-old here. And then they were begging us to buy merch. It was bleak. It really bummed me out. Oh, yeah. They Less were like, Jake things also, have been slow I, for nine years. And we're like, ugh. The, the sound quality of Less Than Jake was so bad. You think? Yeah, it was bad. Quite bad. Oh. I left it for two songs. Dude, you... Well, first of all, okay, there was a joke competition between the band, and they're like, we get to pick the joke winner. And one of the jokes was, like, kind of risque, right? The first guy, one he, of like, them was, said a word. Yeah, I don't... Was what's like, the difference between a garbanzo bean and a chickpea? Yeah, I've, I've never, never had a had garbanzo a, bean. I've never had a garbanzo bean pee on my face. I've never had a garbanzo bean on my face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because chick pee on my yeah. face. Yeah, yeah. Get but the it. drummers was good. I just can't the remember. The drummers was good. But the guitarist said something like, something about dyslexia. And half the crowd was like, I'm neurodivergent. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then I leaned over to Jordan. And I was like, wouldn't it be funny if the guy's like, <laughs> well, no, knock, knock, who's there? Banana. Aren't you glad I didn't say banana? And then the one guy grabs the mic. He's like, how do you get a fag to fuck a woman? <laughs> you shove shit in her pussy. <laughs> and everyone's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Which Jordan is cried. a joke that was told to me by a guy I was strapped to in a plane right before we jumped out of a plane skydiving. Really? Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. That and rules. then another guy told a joke. How many fags can sit on a bar stool? Turn it over. Four. Oh. Because yeah, they sit. Wow. It's good like good one. What kind of gay people are going to a bar without multiple bar stools? That's really. And hey, good. fella with the shit in her pussy. I've been with men and women, and let me tell you, pal, it's not about the shit. I don't know how you avoid the shit. The little rim. You There's always a little rim. Probably get a guy to fuck a woman without putting shit in her pussy. A guy. Just have her fuck her in the ass. What about my buddy's fucking a girl who has herpes? Ew. Do, do, do you think what, they is just she do anal? Was she a comic anal? in Brooklyn? No. But you think that they just do anal? That's what I was wondering. It's so easy to not get herpes. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why do it's you have herpes? Like. At, no, <laughs> STD. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> there's STDs are so easy to avoid now. Why? Like you just have to be aware. As long as you're on suppression medication, you can't spread it. When you have a flare up, you just have to say, "Hey, we can't have contact for a couple it's days." It's just scary to become one of the pariah. Like I know that it's bad, and I know that it's horrible to think that way. But like, it is scary to be like, "I there's no way I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you." So the idea of becoming one of these like 
people that yeah. is a leper. It's tough. It's tough, Imagine dude. Imagine how people felt with AIDS. I just wouldn't tell people I had it. I would just That's totally. That's evil. You I know. Shut the fuck up. You would really do that? If I didn't have an outbreak, I would just not say anything. That's fucked up. I did that with all of COVID. Really? Yeah, very frequently. You didn't tell people you had COVID when no, you had COVID? No, but I was like, it would be like I was around somebody with COVID. I would start to feel sick and I wouldn't test. I'm the most amoral person when it comes to this shit. Wow. So wait, you would have herpes, not have a breakout, and not tell someone. What if, God forbid, you gave them herpes? What do you think? You just blow a shafar and It's just the same way I feel about COVID. Just let it be herpes. COVID immunity. is different than herpes. But everybody's going to get it. So you no, might as that's well not just, how you herpes well works. The worry. HPV. If somebody cheats on you're you, a do you want to know? Person. Do you want to know? Yes. I don't you can know. find the guy and if, beat the piss out if of him. If you're going to die in three weeks, do you want to know? Yes. I don't want to know. I would rather spend three weeks doing what I'm doing and just living the life that I am enjoying than be just worrying about saying goodbye. You wouldn't want to say goodbye to the people you love. No. Why would I want to say really? goodbye? I would just be like, don't tell anybody. Don't. I don't want to know. Yeah. They do that in China so that people recover. What? Like if, like that, you can choose Western or Eastern medicine. And if you choose Eastern, they're allowed to lie to you. Like they're allowed to be like, you're going to get better next week. And then people will start to get better. No. -uh. Yeah. Totally. Really? Yeah. That's why I wouldn't want to know. I'd be like, just give me a, say, here's your vitamin C pill, whatever that is. And just say, I'm going to live forever. I think I would want to know so that I could be like, hey guys, I just want to say, who cares? I'm dying. They don't want to know. Don't be sad. Wink, wink, be sad. Come on. I, I tell my mom all the sad. time. I'm like, if I die, just know I'm quite a happy girl. I say that all the time. Really? She doesn't like it. That sounds like something a happy girl would say. <laughs> hey, I'm very happy. <laughs> hey, just so you know, I'm happy. Everything's fine if I die mysteriously by cutting myself. <laughs> Before I went into surgery, I said it. By the way, surgery, the fentanyl. Oh, when I replaced you. Dude, that's the best stuff I've ever had in my life. Fentanyl. It feels so good. Yeah, well, a lot of people would agree with yeah. you. Yeah. To the point where they... Pump so much of it in them, they died. Let's talk about the Down syndrome model on Sports Illustrated. What? What is you this? See that? Five months ago? Yeah. I just found out about it. What are you, get it, what are you Time Machine Jensen? I just, somebody just showed it to me. Whoa. Why did it? Hey, what, OJ it, got off and is not guilty. This, it's a way bigger deal than the fat girl on it. Why? Because she is. First of all, hold on, wait. What were you saying about fentanyl and then the thing of, um, before fentanyl? What was she saying? Oh, that I'm amoral and don't want to know if I'm going to die and don't want to tell people if I have herpes and don't want to tell people I have COVID and don't want to tell people if I'm carrying a disease that will kill the... Yeah, it, everybody's better off in the dark. I think if I if I knew I was going to die, I would drink. See, that's fucked up. Why? Because then you spend half of your death days hung over and feeling bad and guilty and being weird in the street. Well, you're already weird in the street. <laughs> I know. No, I would eat a sheet cake. I've thought about it, but I just am saying. <laughs> a sheet cake? That's your big decadent I would goodbye? Eat, I would eat so much. Well, there you go. Your eating is my drinking. No, it's not okay. Uh, right before you die, the day before you die, I'll be like, hey, you're going to die tomorrow. No, no, no. I'm, what's today? Thursday. I'm dying next Thursday, right? I find out this weekend, uh, go out, have a fucking... No, because then I'd have like anxiety. And yeah, be, like, the anxiety upset. would not be worth it. Trust me, you don't want to know. And then all of a sudden you're dead. That's what happened to my dad. It's the most beautiful thing. He said early on in his life, he was like, I just want to go to work, come home, die when I die. And he did that. Great. Mm -hmm. Died in his sleep. That's what I want. I don't want any medications. I don't want to be Googling what's the best way to cure this. I don't want to be going to Switzerland for some weird treatment. Like, I just want to fucking do comedy, mm. live, have no idea. Well, I guess that's a way of being like, I live, well, truly, I live every day like I'm going to die, so Most what's the difference? Do. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I ride a bike everywhere. I might. By the time this comes out, it might be D. I just reveled the whole way here for an hour no without helmet. a helmet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I know. Esty really got mad at that the other day. About the helmet? Really? Yeah. You have to wear a helmet. Well, I hope yeah. she doesn't hear this. Yeah. <laughs> she might get mad at that accent. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There was something else I wanted to say. Maybe it'll come back. But let's get back to the fact that it is Thursday, June 30th. And you are talking about a story that came out in April with the Down syndrome model. I just found out about it. What do you think about it? It's not okay. Why? Because she has the mental capacity of an eight-year-old, and that's where people go to come. I have a whole joke about it. It's killing. But it is 
it, I do think it's not okay. And you know what's weird? It's like a woke thing. People are like, yes, you go, queen. And I'm well, like... I think it's going to get to the point where it's like normal people should be able to fuck Down syndrome people. They deserve love. They deserve sex. And it's like, no, you're taking advantage of the mentally retarded. I Googled it. Down syndrome people have a mental capacity of an eight-year-old. Some of them are further along. Sure, sure. She may be a further along. She don't look further along, you know what I mean? She may be a... Uh, she's hot. I will say that. It's just not okay that there's dudes just... Uh, you don't know little, that. It's like putting an eight-year-old and being what like... What if it's Down syndrome dudes eight year olds, This person off. identifies as don't an adult. Down syndromes need to jerk off? I'm... Si- I'm six years what old. What if she loves it and she gets off and she goes to Special Olympics and she's like, come on my feet. I'm six years old and come I identify my- as a 28 year old. And we're going to be like, yes, put a dick in her ass and put her on a porn magazine. She doesn't probably understand what identifying is. She probably didn't even know she was in a bikini. Every eight year old wants to be on the cover in of like Sports a- Illustrated, but we don't do it because it's fucked up. She probably like calls this. a bikini okay, okay. a half blanket. What if I did this? What if I said, what if I said, hey, this porn star. That was really funny. Has the <laughs> <laughs> has the mental capacity of you're going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. You drawing sports? I just watched porn for like the first time. The illustrate day. sports? Yeah, that's what she probably thought. If you're I illustrating, go why you take my picture? I want to go to the beach. Yeah, dude. So Nick wait. Mullen one time did a Down syndrome impression. Shout out Nick Mullen. Oh, it's great. I wept. Oh yeah, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Anyway. He's good at being retarded. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So what's your thesis? Go ahead. Let me hear this. It's not. She probably was like, I want a boy with swim through on. And she was on the cover and her tits are all out. They push her tits out. She's it's a fucking porno mag, basically. My dad had like a stack of them that was like soldered with cum. Like it's a cum magazine. the, The porn was you had to use that. To come. Kids aren't looking at Sports Illustrated to come now when they got a fucking cable internet in their pocket on the fucking fast track to the World Wide Web of porn in their pocket. You think some kid has the option to see a fucking gangbang and a girl getting deep throat, okay. two girls 69ing, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to jerk off to the Down Syndrome girl on the cover of okay, a magazine. Okay, so when you saw the cover of the magazine and you saw the Down Syndrome model, you didn't see a child's face on a woman's body? No. That's what you saw. No, I saw a. It it honestly looked like Salma Hayek and from Dust Till Pull Dawn it up on the TV. when she had oh, a hot body and her face poor. was all lizardy. <laughs> and to be honest, I was a young kid and I was jerking off to it, so maybe. <laughs> but I everyone's up in arms about it. But it's nobody's like, up in arms. Everybody agrees with so you. Everybody agrees with what, you. What about like That's so why what? Everybody's like she gets to do what she wants. She has Down syndrome, but that and I'm like. That's fine for like a autistic person or a, or a whatever all the other ones, but Down syndrome does mean that they have they're mentally stunted. She is a child but in a she's woman's body, physically of age. Okay, right? so if I said there's a three year old in this woman's body, have sex with her? No, no. But how old is she? Oh, the body. Yeah, the body is like twenty eight. Oh, that's hot. But the the brain, she's <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. just fucking her, and she's like A B C D three nine twelve, and you're uh, like yeah, 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 yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you getting hard? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I'm can like, oh, next just, time I'll sing with you. Can I tell you, I just started getting into porn, and it's really exciting. Yeah, what is happening? I've just never looked into it, and now I'm looking into it. What are you looking? I didn't at? realize that blowjobs are supposed to be. I know that you use the hand, but they're quite fast in porn. What were you doing? I mean, I'd go fast, but then I would slow, and I thought the slow was good, but turns out the slow is just a break for me. Yeah, no, the slow makes it so that we don't come. Yeah. You got to do fast and sloppy. Da 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 A lot. Fast. They look scary doing it. I didn't if, realize. If you don't go fast, it's going to take forever to come, and then you're going to be conditioned to hate blowjobs. There's also a sideways thing they're doing. Like, it's not going straight back. It's like, she she was kind of like going at it like that. Oh, to make a pop out of cheek? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, she was yeah. doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll say I'll be the first to say it. I applaud anyone that's good at sucking dick. Yeah. It is really a difficult task. I thought it was, task. but after watching porn. I'm terrible at it. I go fast and slow. I can't make a guy come. Really? Nope. What do you, what happens? I think, you they, gag? See, I think they see my bald spot. <laughs> I think Dude, they look down I am starting to like, see bald spots doing? on people. Yeah. 
and it is it's a thing it's a yeah. real thing yeah have you all the seen time one in your mirror oh oh you anyway <laughs> no, i'm kidding i mean i it is br- i mean they come you're not getting bald are you no oh, okay women don't get bald yeah they do, do. They? yeah no but really i do sad. have this gray streak do you see that oh yeah i got some grays on my no my look how much hair i have oh you got you grays back somebody. here no yeah i don't a little let me see yeah, it's gray. I do not. You're it's such a gray faggot. It's gray coming from the roots. It's not. Can you zoom? Zoom. It's gray. There's dry shampoo in it. I'll t- oh, maybe that's what it is. Here, let me take a picture. Okay. There, I put, I put Olivia's dry shampoo in. Hold on. Yep. Oh, that's gray. That's not. That's blonde highlights. That's gray. Oh, God. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's the dry shampoo that I sprayed in me. It honestly looks like I'm looking at Chewbacca's asshole. God damn. Yeah. Wow. It really does. <laughs> Quite groomed. No, that is the dry shampoo. You sure? No. All right. Well, I'm not sure. Uh oh. Listen. Girls Gone Gray. Great song by AFI. Sasha Gray. Great porn star. I'm ready star. to go gray. I'm ready to be the paint covered gray. I'm liking that I'm getting gray in my sideburns. Yeah. I kind of like that. Now, porn. You were never into it. No, but then I started finding step-sibling porn, and I had sex with my stepbrother, so I'm pretty into that. And so now I'm getting into porn. What? I did. I, have se- I had sex with my stepbrother. Dude, it's when? the hottest. Okay. How? I'm, huh? How long was he your stepbrother? Years. Shut the fuck up. A lot of years. Since I was 11. And when did you guys fuck? I was 17. Dude, no wonder you have a demented sense of reality. Like, well, if you have herpes, you don't got to tell anyone just like fucking a stepbrother. Yeah, I was raised you by amoral wolves. Until you're on a podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. You had sex with a stepbrother? You're the porn search that's destroying our minds. Tell me everything. It was so hot. <laughs> it was very hot. We high-fived afterwards. We, our parents didn't know about it. That was oh, so that's hot. hot. Yeah. Here's I thought happened. about that with my cousin. I always had a crush on him because I was like 11 and he was older than me. So hot. How BMXer. Older? Like seven years older. Oh. Yeah. So then <laughs> when I came of age. Dude, hold on. <laughs> hold on. No? Yes, it is. No, you're still a year under of age. This What's is of age? going to go get. This is go, pe- people can. Is this child pornography? <laughs> Because you were 11 and you were slip sliding on your seat oh, to a fucking slip 18 year old I man. Was glossy. That's related. I was glossing around. I was a goo trail. <laughs> I was a viscous fountain, dude. You barely had to put salt on you because you were leaving a slug trail. I was squeaking off chairs. Trail. Just, I would sit down and just <laughs> and slide right off. Just <laughs> hey, we're out of wiper flow with Jordan. Squat in front of the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> It was great. And it was a fat little mall guy, so when I watched it, it was just... Oh, my God. Nice. He fucked you when you were a fat No, girl? I became hot. Oh, and he was like, finally. Yeah. And wow. I was like, finally now. How many times did you guys fuck? Just once. Do you well, still talk? Maybe twice. Yeah, I just visited him. We had, we're in... I bet you did. We're family. <laughs> <You> were... <laughs> One of our moms doesn't know about it. My mom knows. Ah! Oh, we're visiting. We're family. You just fucked them. Oh, my God. That's so fuck. I can't wrap my gay little head around. Anyway, this. the podcast is me and Ian. <laughs> <laughs> me and Ian. Me and Ian. Men. Oh, it could be me and Ian. Like mean Ian. What about me and Ian? Yeah. M. M. I. A. N. I. A. N. Me and Ian. Okay. Me. Me and Ian. Yeah, I like being Ian with you. No, that sucks. Because Why? then it's who you are with me. Is that not what it is? It's not. You're like this all the time. <laughs> B and Ian. Me and Ian. Because then you don't have to change the lyrics. But B and Ian is a real fun. Yeah, it's B So is me and Ian. Yeah, but people go, who's all the All right, man? you have it, B and Ian, but I'm doing every fourth podcast. Okay. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do less than that, wasn't I? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Ian wins again, family fucker. God damn it. You so would have fucked him. How did you fuck? Okay, the, okay. the hot fantasy is fucking someone in secret. Oh. Like at a sleepover them. or Above something. Them. While oh they're in the God. house. Yeah. 
Yeah, like a like a and he's like so a, hot. Like a I guy mean, that so goes hot. to a different school. Ooh, and the other stepbrother was didn't know about it, and he's very protective. Ooh, it was good. Was it at a family function? Christmas. Oh my god. Merry Christmas. Just we came down all red faced. Describe. Merry Christmas. Describe what happened. Okay, I. Uh, Is there any way we could put something on my penis to see if I get a boner t- to show everyone I'm not a freak? Wait, how do I? What do you mean? Describe what happened? Okay, the I, scenario. How I did said, this go down? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Shut the fuck up. All right. I said I'm gonna come home for Be Christmas. Indian. They said Tyler's gonna come home for Christmas too. They said you guys are gonna have to sleep in the same room. I said, oh no. Then me and Tyler, I think, started texting. Got a little flirty. How did you get flirty with your brother? Because he's not my brother. He's my stepbrother. But but you were step siblings since you were eleven. Yeah, but so he like some... got, he like smoked me on up on you know he got me high right. for the first time. And you, and he was you guys weren't in the house together a lot. Dude, how he fucked me after seeing me as a fat little mall goth, I have no idea. But I did transform quite a bit over the course of high school and college. So you guys, how did he get flirty with you? Wow, sis. I was like, me really... and Paul broke up, and he was like, oh, that's good. You're too hot for him, maybe. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, you're hot. And then, you know, I was like, is this hot? And, like, sent a photo maybe like that. And then he was like, that is hot. I'm, you know, and then it was like, well, see you on Christmas. And then we <laughs> show each other on Christmas. <laughs> yep. Where are my cats? <laughs> my mom's better not listen to this. I mean, my mom can, but his mom cannot. Oh, my God. So you went to the bedroom together, and how did it happen? Were you like, the floor is hurting my pussy? No, we were in bed together. And you then slept in the same bed? Of course. Oh, my God. One of you wasn't like, I'll sleep on the floor? No, we knew we were going to fuck. Oh, my God. I was so blissfully unaware of situations like that. Literally laid in bed with a girl my sophomore year of high school, and she was like, Ian... Do you ever get horny? And I was nice. like, yeah. And she's like, what do you do about it? And I was like, I don't know. Uh, you know, sometimes I jerk off. I'm really tired. Good night. <laughs> and I just went to bed because it made me nervous. And Not- you're fucking your brother. <laughs> It sucks getting older, though. Like, I was in bed. Yeah, with- you can't fuck your brother anymore. <laughs> I could still fuck him. Ah! <laughs> But, like, the other day I was sleeping in bed with a buddy who I would have fucked. Like, I was like, ooh, we'll lay in bed together because we're sharing a bed, and then we'll slowly start to... And then next thing I know, I, it was morning, and I woke up. You know what was I mean? Was it like, Renan? No, no, no. It was my buddy who I stayed with in California. Oh, oh, oh. And you wanted to fuck him? Well, we just, like, have done stuff before, and I was oh. like, maybe that'll... And it was just funny that, like, sleep was just way higher up on the priority list. Oh, yeah, You know what yeah. I mean? I'll take a good night of sleep over coming anytime. For sure. You know? I'll use coming to sleep. That's pretty much the only time I come. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it, coming takes me a while because of my antidepressants. It sucks. So, that, that's the worst feeling. Dude, it's the, it has killed my sex drive. Yeah, because you get so frustrated. Well, yeah. And also, it just makes it like I don't get NRBs anymore. No reason boners. Oh. And so I'm just like, oh, well, it's like sometimes I forget I have a penis. Do you want to hear my joke about it? I was on Prozac well, for OCD. It, it anyway. was on Prozac for OCD, but you can't come on Prozac. So I got off of it. So now I can come, but I have to do, do it in multiples of three or my moms will die. You know? Oh, for OCD. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Thanks. I have a joke about antidepressants. I go, uh, <laughs> antidepressants, it's so hard to, uh, they, they suck. Because if I don't take my antidepressants, I want to kill myself, but I can come. If I do take my antidepressants, I don't want to kill myself, but I can't come, which makes me want to kill myself. Yeah. It's called Zoloft's Paradox. Nice. I think Maddie Smith has the exact same joke. Well, she stole it from me. I don't know about that. Well, you are 100 years old, so that's possible. Yeah. Well, I've been doing this joke since You know how many people have this joke, the abortion joke, where they're like, I think you should be able to kill it when it's eight years old or whatever. That one, I'm like, oh yeah. nine yeah. people have that joke that I've seen last also, week. Also, I don't think Maddie has my joke because my joke doesn't end in... Maddie Smith. I do love Maddie. I'm a slut. <laughs> She's great. She's great. Yeah. We'll be right back after this. So when you fucked your brother, <laughs> how did it, it, it was not weird afterwards? And no. how did you guys keep not keep fucking? Because I feel because like he once live you there. fuck he there. He left. in a situation like that, it's so hot, you got to keep doing it. 
and then look forward to stuff and be like, are you going to the family reunion? Oh, grandma died. You want to, can I blow you in the, at the wake? I think it's because I lost attraction to him after that. I think I was like, well, you know, that was good. But now I think I was a little bit like, oh, you fucked your sister. Gross. You know what I mean? Well, you know, uh, I was into you, but you're kind of gross now. I'm going to try to fuck my nephew. <laughs> yeah, you're getting too old, bro. I'd still fuck him. I'd fuck him tomorrow. We're oh, my God. Will you call him right now? No. Call we him? Okay, here's the truth. We haven't talked about it also. R- ever? No. Really? Wow. You don't think you'll ever... If you talked about it, you would definitely hook <laughs> up. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that I grew Christmas? up watching Clueless. So did I. Oh, my God. That's so funny that that movie ends with Her a college guy. Fucking his sister. Stepsister who's 16. Yeah. And everyone's like, ah, oh, I was like, ah, writing it yeah, down. Yeah, dude. That's one of my all-time favorite comedies. Yep. It's flawless. I know every word. It's so good. It's but so good. It's so funny that that's. Paul Rudd can get away from that. He could be fucking the Down syndrome model. And we'd be like, you get it, Paul. Well. The Down syndrome model. Oh my god, I think is good. What? But at the same time, who cares? It's just a person. It's just a model. It was it a Make a Wish or is this going to keep happening? No, because it's like if a Make a Wish kid was like, "I want anything," and we were like, "Anything," and, and she was like, "Anal," and we we're like, "Okay, we'll get it for you." You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It's like if a Make a Wish kid was like, "I want to be fucked in the ass," and we were like, "Okay, you can get do it because you are a minority or whatever." <laughs> Wait, you're fucking your brother. This is so good. You're not telling people you have herpes, and now you're talking I about don't giving have herpes. anal to Can make a wish kids. Can you not do that? I what? don't have herpes. I'm you don't have herpes. If I did, it would be really tempting for me to not tell anybody if I wasn't having an outbreak. If if I knew you had herpes, I would get on you to tell people. You'd tell people you're a good person. That was would supposed eat away at me. I am, and you know, I have to tell everybody everything all the time. That orange juice was supposed to be mine. You just drank that one. I got myself too. I don't give a shit. (laughs) You put. Yeah, you fucked your brother. You don't care about shit. You can have it. I just wanted a little sip. (laughs) So. (laughs) It's not my brother. He's my stepbrother. It's hot. I said twos all over. BMX her. I had a crush on a cousin. Yeah, we all went over there. We all did. Yeah. Everybody's had crushes on cousins. Everyone's got a hot cousin. If somebody said I'm marrying my cousin, I would be like, who cares? That's fine. First cousin, no. Why? Because that's how incest or um, inbreeding happens. I caught Tyler, my stepbrother, Googling famous people who have slept with relatives. Like, I remember seeing Einstein, and I was like, oh, this is what you think is, like, holding you back, dude? Dude, your life is a haunted house. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. And the price of admission is $5 a month, patreon.com slash me and Ian. Is it being Ian or me and Ian? It's me and Ian, because it sounds like me and Ian. Yes. Me and Ian. Me and Ian. Me and Ian. And because the Lumineers say me and Ian, right? Me and Ian. But it'll sound like me and Ian. Well, I got to change the theme song because it says, uh, and you know he likes it in the butt. And that sounds like I get fucked in the ass, which I don't. So we got to change it to years ago. It's not for me. Because it feels like you're pooping backwards. No, it just feels like, you know, I'm letting my grandmother down. (laughs) Really? Yeah. You don't like the feeling? It's a good feeling. I like my butthole played off? with, but not... I like someone to knock on the door, but don't go inside. Why? Because it hurts, and it's not pleasurable. Coconut oil. I've gotten my prostate massage before, but even then, I'm just like... <sighs> Dude, that was so funny okay. when you went to the massage place. Okay, you walked in. You go, mm. hey, I just went and got a massage... And didn't get a happy ending. And I was like, that's great. Re- really? And you went, well, she played with my balls while I jerked off. And I was like, why did you say this? Why did you present this to me? She didn't play with my balls. She tickled me. Whatever. You basically came in all excited like, hey, I didn't get jerked off. I didn't, technically. But that's Just like you technically didn't fuck a family member. Okay, but you should say, hey, I just went and jerked off myself off at a massage. That's what you should say. Not like, hey, I just got a normal massage like normal human beings and didn't do anything weird. And then what the reality was, you did something even weirder than getting jerked off. Why is it even weirder? Do you know how good it feels to have your body tickled while you come? 
It's weirder to have an old Dude, Asian I got a woman the other day that blowing I on your gonna... penis like she's trying to start a Native American fire. Are they not good at it? I thought they'd be amazing. That's what they do. They literally go... <laughs> Native American. They jerk off. Like they're trying to use tw- twindle and sticks. Twindle. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's what they try to do. Twindle. twindle. <laughs> they try to twindle you. And I said, twindle no more. Why? Why? I thought they would be really good at it. No. They have all the oil and shit? No. Really? Yeah. I had a guy the other day, he was massaging in my inner thighs. Oh. And I was like, which, by the way, is incredibly excruciatingly painful. What? Yes. I, I mean, love it. it my hurts. erogenous zone is from like here. No, no, no. To I like mean, r- deep massaging, like where the bike muscles are. Anyway, mm. he's getting in, getting close to my vagina. Oh, my and God. And I'm like kind of writhing because it hurts so bad. He and, takes my hand. Puts and he it, saw your tattoo that said brother territory. Put it. <laughs> You're entering brother country, Put it brother. behind my back and, cl- and interlaced Family his fingers only. into mine behind my back in cop position. And kept doing it. And I was like, this is... Was I, he a hot guy? No, he was no. a little Asian man. I jerk off to it every night. The idea of it, though. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Bah- so you jerk off fingers. to it, but you won't let it happen. Oh, because you don't like the guy. It's got to be a special guy. No, it was like, it was very rapey. But you jerk off to that scenario. I jerk off to rapey scenarios all the time, but, but I do not want to be raped. Right, but if that Unless was a hot guy, like, who's like hot that we know? If that was like your stepbrother <laughs> and he was doing that massage, would you let it happen? Yeah. Okay, so then it had to do with the guy, not the scenario. You weren't creeped out by the scenario. You were creeped out by the guy. Well, I didn't consent. But that's part of the fantasy. The fantasy is that, yeah, yeah, totally. No yeah. consent. Yeah, totally. Exactly. And oh, you're so saying if somebody was really hot and they came You would in, have allowed Oh, it. yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can yeah. rape me if you're hot. Come exactly. on in. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Totally. Sound off in the comments. <laughs> That's the clip for the week. Just that over and over, and the voice gets slower. It's like, you can rape me. <laughs> Come and suck. Anyway. Woo! So you've been, you've been whoring around town? What? No, I have <laughs> That's what you said last podcast about Oh, me. is that what I said? <laughs> You go, you, you, you were, you were traumatized on the podcast and then you deflect by going, so you've been whoring around town. <laughs> What's that like? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Mothers hide your sons and sisters hide your brothers. I did. Ho- I, I hooked up with tail. somebody new. I wrote a whole joke about it. Oh, tell. Well, here's the problem. <sighs> you know, when you hook up with somebody and no, you don't know about this. When you're hooking up with a man, you do that thing where you reaching down their pants and you're just praying that it's a su- sufficient dick. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't I know that? Oh, yeah. Okay. And it was one of those moments where you and reach also, down. I feel it over the pants to be sure. Yeah, but sometimes it's wedged in a way. It's like, hot to feel it over the pants. I know. I, I did the feel. I'm not a fucking re- retard. <laughs> What? I did over the pants. Hey. But I couldn't get I it. see you on the cover of Sports I, Illustrated. <laughs> I couldn't get a good feel. I couldn't feel over the pants. I couldn't tell. And, and I couldn't tell because it was insufficient, obviously. But I thought maybe it was. A, Is it a comic? And then No, 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 no. It's, a, it's just a guy. And then I reached in and I was like, ugh, we're going to be friends. Was he tucking it back? Really, it was tiny. It wasn't tiny. It was just, How you tiny? Know, it wasn't that it was tiny. It's Show just, us on it's like, Producer Jordan. It was like this width. Oh, really? This oh. yield slender, slender. Oh, dude, cock. there's nothing worse than like a real slender penis and a big head. That's gross. Oof. It looks like a mushroom. Oh, the big head on the penis. I thought you meant their face. Yes, that no, is big brutal. head on the penis, tiny. Oh, yeah. so scary! It yeah. looks like one of those sinister psilocybin. I know. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's you're like, terrible. I'm if I put that in yeah. my mouth, I'm gonna trip but for I only age. fuck around with black guys, so it always looks like they got a mag light is that in their true? pants. <laughs> Do you only fuck around with black guys? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Why is that? It feels racist a little. Not no. towards white people, but fetishistic. No, I've always been into black guys. Huh. And black women. I exclusively looked at black and Latina and Indian porn from like eh, maybe 97, 98 to like 2001. Wow. Look at you. Mm-hmm. Quite woke. Yeah. My friends used to make fun of me because I'd go on a website called dogfart.com, which was an interracial porn site. What about these cake fart porns? Oh, yeah. I paid for an OnlyFans where a girl sat on a cake. Did she fart? No, but she would only, like, jiggle her butt. And I'm like, I'm paying for, like, penetration, lady. 
Wh- what was going to penetrate her? The cake? No, like I want to see someone get fucked. I don't want to see them just like the prance only fans around. Have sex? I thought it was just boobs and photos. And what? I thought it was just pictures. No. That's just comics. It's like a lot of penetration. Really? Yeah. OnlyFans has porn? I saw Let one where a girl s- has stepbrother. Nice. Swear to God, it was a hot trans gal. I don't oh. think they were stepbrothers. <laughs> <laughs> Technically both stepbrothers. That's the problem with porn is it's like, my brother's coming home from Iraq. And then he walks in and he's like, oh, hello. And yeah, you're yeah, like, this yeah, is yeah. a Mexican man. Yeah, and you yeah, are a yeah. white woman. Oh, my son is home. Somehow he's older than me. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. Cast yeah. correctly. I should start paying for it. Pay for your porn. It's good to pay, you know. To support them? Mm-hmm. Okay. But... I got to dial it back because I blacked out one night and subscribed to too many OnlyFans. Yeah, what was going on? I don't know. I just like went to a fucking like, uh, I didn't realize what I was doing. Isn't I that just the fun was like, thing about being bipolar that you can still black out without dude, alcohol? Dude, yeah. And yeah. I was like so horny that I was like, I just need to keep looking. And I just kept subscribing. The next day I was like, how many are on here? And it was like 14. I was I like, hate the, God, I felt like I was hung over. The ideas I get in my head when I'm horny, like when I'm actually masturbating are like, I'm like, who cares about any comedy? Who cares about anything? We should just be fucking all the time. I should contact this person, have him come over. And then as soon as you come, you're like, I need to yeah, get my, yeah, I need yeah, to yeah, yeah, check yeah. my credit report. You yeah. Know? It's, I mean, it's the thing of like, sometimes it'll be like, huh, God, I just want to be, you know, uh, a sex person. <laughs> yeah. I would, I want to be hung up in the middle of a empty subway car and have a bunch of brothers just take advantage yeah. of me and fill all my you holes. Get crazy. And then the second I come, I'm like, I don't like sex. I don't like people. I don't want to be yeah, our yeah, people. Yeah, but yeah, when you're yeah. coming, you're like, I'm going to walk into the street right now. Fuck yeah, those yeah. bodega guys. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. weird. You yeah. get like, I want to play. Lee is Prague everybody and- like that? Some people, I don't know. I think being bipolar has that effect. Yeah, really? Where yeah, you just lose your goddamn mind. It's when you're like, um, yeah, and I think it goes into like a shame thing, where it's like you want to be used, and you want to be like yeah. abused, and then like because you associate like shame with a lot of sex and stuff. So then, like the ultimate shame is being like treated terribly sexually so you like want that because it turns you on in a way because i'm sure it taps into something from your childhood and then once you come you like come to your senses because the evil satan yeah. seed is out of you yeah and then you start to see god again and you're like oh i used to go to church yeah i need to forgive my father this yeah. woman rich girl in the audience last night i was like did anybody get hit growing up and she was like i did and she was this meek little girl and I was like, your dad hit you? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, are you into rough sex because of it? And she and her friends were like, oh, like looked at me like, how dare you? And she went, looked at me and went. Oh, my God. And I was God. like, hell yeah, dude. That is so traumatic mm-hmm. for her to just go. Yes. Yeah. I saved it, though. I was like, you're, you're into it because of, we watched Aladdin and Jafar. That's why you're really into what? it. What? That's my whole theory that 30-year-old women are into rough sex because we grew up watching Aladdin. Why? Because remember the scene? Do you remember Aladdin? Yes. Remember when Disney designed the red outfit? Yes. Her, and he locked her up in the yes. hourglass. Yes. And spit he, she spits in his face. Yes. She's chained up with a high ponytail. Yes. We every girl was jerking it for the first time on, on their you little couch. You make couch. these proclamations that like everyone's living true. your Ithaca farm life. And I'm here to tell you That's not a farm life. Aladdin. Well, I had a crush on Ariel and she was a mermaid. Well, we also, all wanted to get fucked by Jafar. We all wanted to get raped by Nobody Jafar. Nobody <laughs> Yes, we did. And Aladdin's watching. He's getting cucked in that scene. What? In that Nobody scene. Nobody wanted to get fucked by Jafar. Jafar was a gross old Arab with a goatee. Pull it up, pull it up on the TV. That's oh, like you want to get fucked oh, by some guy named Ock at the a, deli. You framed. <laughs> what? What does that nice picture have to do with anything? You want to get fucking gang raped by a bunch of Arabs with goatees because of Jafar? That's not what everyone thinks. I do. I do. Yes, yeah, they do. They think is. that. They think that. Why don't you go to Sweden? Because they have an issue with immigration. <laughs> go live out your little fantasy there. The migrants. The Syrians. <laughs> It's not okay. <laughs> so, 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 it's like my Go to ang- Toronto my where they all dad, came in. My angry dad walking in and my jerk hand to Jafar. Well, why don't you go to Syria <laughs> where they're letting all sorts of Jafars in, huh? 
You want to open up your goddamn borders? Why don't you join the goddamn military? And maybe that's why every girl hates her father because they look at him as a soft sultan like that guy. They look at him like a cucked Aladdin. Yeah. Yeah. Soft sultan. Soft sultan is a beautiful thing you just said. I'm so proud of you. Soft sultan. (laughs) And women think they want a street rat riffraff. But no. they only want Aladdin when he's got And he money. turns into, Jafar turns into the genie, and he's like the big hot genie with the abs. They drew a six-pack on his genie. You would rather have evil genie than fun Robin Williams? To fuck, yeah. Wow. Fuck, Mary kill? Well, maybe. Maybe you have a point. Remember when Aladdin is locked up, and he's going like this, and he's watching, and then... He it's spits the apple in Jasmine's face and she wipes it off like this, like it's cum. <laughs> Do you remember this? Dude, I'm telling you, this Disney is fucked up. She goes like, and she wipes. Oh, it's Disney. She wipes it like this. It's Disney she that's wipes, fucked up. She wipes white, viscous apple off her face and flicks it while Aladdin is you dying. Know what I remember while Aladdin, from Aladdin is dying. that gave me love and made me feel good. When he's in the snow and the thing rolls over him and he holds a poo to his chest for warmth because there's nothing like the love between a man and his animal. Samson, where are you at? <laughs> I hold him on my chest. I, I forgot go, about that. what the fuck was that, <laughs> Jordan? Of? Of oh. Jafar. Of Jafar. Hourglass. It does come up. Yeah, doesn't it? What? Wow. Oh, my God. Did you see the uh, Top Gun? No. <sighs> There's a scene in that. that what is was the, the scene? Thing. It's the main guy. Not the main guy, but the guy who plays Rooster, and he's throwing a football around, and he does this one dance move that, like, me and Reed, who are watching, grabbed each other, and we're like, oh! And then I Googled it, oh, and it comes like, up. He, like, rolls his like chest. Like, an ass? But it's literally point one second long. And I, and I Googled it, and it was, like, every video. People really? trying to do it. Yeah, it's going to be, like, yeah. Wow. It's, it's like in Rocky Horror Picture Show when he does the eyebrow There was thing. a look Gwen Stefani gave in one of the music videos she did at the end where she like makes like a baby face. It's like the hottest Those thing are my world. favorite moments is when you're like, oh, when you can get the, and you rewind it and you play it a million times. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I feel like that that's, one. well, I guess people can do that like scrubbing on YouTube and stuff, but we used to have to do it with a VHS. Yeah. And you would remember those moments forever. Mm-hmm. I'm picturing it in my head right now. In, in Rocky Horror Picture Show, when he lifts his eyebrow up for a second. Never seen it. What? Seen that it. was made for you. That movie was made for you. What's it about? It's a hybrid of trans sex and punk rock. Really? Yeah. 100%. When I was a little mall goth, because I was a mall goth, but I also loved like theater and improv and comedy. And then I saw that movie and I was like, you can have it all. Maybe I should see it. Oh, my God. We're going to watch that movie. All right. We're going to watch it watch tomorrow. It. Okay. Oh, I'm yeah, out of town I'll tomorrow. Rocky Saturday. Rocky I like uh, um, Tim Curry. He's, He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe I've never seen it. Yeah, that's wild. Huh. Changed my life seeing it. Really I'm trying good. to think what cartoon. I had a crush on Bambi, the deer. Okay. All right. I'm going to be accepting. That's fine. That's I thought Bambi was a girl. Turns out Bambi's a boy and that's also a up. deer, and that says a lot about me. Because of the eyelashes, yeah. And I kiss my cat. What about Lola Rabbit? Oh, my God, yes. Lola Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Fucking Jessica Rabbit, huge crush. Oh, my, I am like Roger Rabbit, and Olivia's you like Jessica are. Rabbit. You yeah. are. You are like Roger Rabbit. Yeah, and she's my Jessica Rabbit. She is. That's mm-hmm. fucked up. Yeah. Why is that fucked up? Roger Rabbit's great. Just how accurate it is. Yeah. He is great. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. And I'm the guy whose eyes pops out of his head. <laughs> that gets run over by the steamroller. Yeah. <laughs> or I'm just the angry Eddie. Yeah, that's who I am. I'm angry Eddie with you always trying to kiss me, and I'm like, <laughs> get the fuck. I am not coming over from 2 to 9 p.m. Could somebody draw me as Roger Rabbit, Olivia as Jessica Rabbit, and you as fucking Eddie, like, Roger? Yeah, can one of you two people and maybe a third who accidentally Get stumbled on this? Get the out of here. <laughs> fucking, yeah, that's what it would be if it was me and Ian, but B and Ian, it's going to be two million. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he knows. Okay, we'll see. Yep. Draw it. Go. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> I wish there were commercial breaks. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> Shafar. <laughs> Jafar.
<laughs> why don't you go to Syria <laughs> where they have an immigration <laughs> problem? This is so good. <laughs> Sweden. Well, wait. Okay. You said that you hooked up with a guy and you felt his cock and you're like, we're just going to be friends. Mm-hmm. Was that a version of the ick? No. Explain the ick. The ick is so brutal. It's when somebody does something to you. That they don't even realize. And it's, you they lose exhibit every some, piece of attraction to them. They exhibit an insecurity, typically, that is kind of pathetic and childlike, and you can never recover. Like, for instance, you're in the airport with a... A guy picks you up from the airport. No. You're in the airport with a guy. He loses his luggage. Okay? Mm-hmm. And he starts panicking. Oh, mm-hmm. here's here's a good ick. I'm with a guy. We're driving his car. Flat tire. Mm-hmm. I get out. I'm like, get the, you know, the jack and everything. He starts pacing. He's like, what are we going to do? I don't know what to do. We're going to have to call somebody. I don't have AAA. Oh. So I caught the ick so bad. Oh. I don't I've, even I'm have like a vagina and I'm drying up. I am the queen up. of catching the ick. I can't go back once I catch it. Well, here's the thing, though. Guys don't. He, it can be as something as simple as like he chews funny. Ugh. Yeah, he gets a haircut. The haircut will give you the ick. That's how evil women are. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Women, we will have sex with you and like be like, ah, well, they kind of I don't really like that. Never mind. But you pick an arbitrary thing that we can't even control and hold it against us, lose interest, and then we're left with like, what's wrong with me? You know what's wrong with you? You existed. And he allowed yourself to be around a woman. Vulnerable. That's what was Vulnerable. wrong with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, here's the thing. You're I, evil? I am evil, yeah. Yo, all of you? No, because they're not it's all not like an MRA that. podcast. Ian sells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Now, the ick is evil. What is the male to female equivalent of the ick? I don't know. You see us look ugly for a second. Our makeup's off. We wake up with a... Bad breath. Yeah, you like I don't know, like I don't know, like you leave Get a little bit of hair. like self tanner on the wrong place, or like one of your eyelashes is longer than the other. Get away from me, bitch! Wow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, what'll make you catch thick? Finding out you somebody fucked their stepbrother. <laughs> that gave somebody the ick once. They found really? out about that. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh, no, you like a maybe hit." The ick would be like. Here's the thing. I've watched somebody get the ick about me because I couldn't stop laughing. Really? There was a guy on a train. And he was a huge fat guy. And he had all, he was homeless. He had all this shit on him. You know what I mean? And then he had a tiny, tiny bicycle helmet <laughs> on top of his head. Listen to me. I could. And he kept going like this. He would fall asleep in the train. And then he would slowly, his bicycle helmet would hit the wall. And then he would slowly get back up. And I had a mask on, but I was crying, laughing. I couldn't get it together. My mask was getting wet with my tears. I kept being like, just chill out, Jordan. Just chill out. Just chill out. <laughs> And then we got back to my house, and the guy was like, I don't think we can see each other anymore. And I was wow. like, Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, uh, and he, he said, Because you were laughing enough. He didn't say, but I knew. I, houseless it's individual. Because, because if you ever had caught a laughing fit and you're like, I'm going to die. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. That, that gave somebody the ick. Here's the thing mm-hmm. girls are evil because you'll do the ick and go, Don't talk to me. I'm going to be cold now and make you wonder what's the matter with you and then make you think something's diametrically wrong with you when in fact it's just my own thing because I'm fucked up. And guys will get the ache about a girl and go, you know what? I'll still fuck her. Yeah. Yes. Both evil. No, the guy's not evil. Yeah, but the guy's caught the ick. He doesn't want to be with her, but he'll still fuck her. Yeah, because that's what we're not trying to get fucked. Nice we're trying to is. be with somebody. So somebody catching the ick and still fucking us is still evil. How long until the ick doesn't matter? Like, could you catch the ick after like a year? I have. Really? I have. What was it? He cut all his hair off and it was bad. But I stayed with him, but it was almost, it was tough. Isn't that just being shallow? No, he just looked weird and it like looked exhibited. Looked weird. He just. Shallow. He looked like a different. Only looking okay, at okay, looks. Okay, okay, okay. Shallow. All right, all right. Let me think of Jordan's a, a fucking kiddie pool because. Uh, yeah, we got it. She's shallow, <laughs> and she was probably in it with her stupid brother. Piss, there's piss everywhere. <laughs> there's piss everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and she likes when little kids piss in her. <laughs> in her! <laughs> Fill me up. 
before you go, go. Don't want you to pee slow. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I've caught the ick. Somebody dealing with death in a bad way. I caught the ick because somebody couldn't get over the death of an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Their pet died. That gave me the ick. I feel guilty about it, but I got the ick. It was years later. People well, what what do you mean they couldn't get over it? I keep crying about it. No, really? Yeah. Is this someone we know? Yeah. No. What? Kept crying. Like Dan I, Natterman kept crying. About it. We'd be like driving and they would say, I would be like, what's wrong? And they <laughs> no, I'm just upset. <laughs> The family goat. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whatever I eat. Don't. Goat, you're gonna I get think. us in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. No, I thought like, only two people were watching it. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, no, I'm not. <laughs> it was. Uh, if you're a Syrian refugee, hit us up in the comments. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, being too sentimental. That I'll get you, Dick. Yeah. You, come on, you can think of a time when a girl did something. I was talking to Louie about it the other day when he caught the ick about a girl. What was it? She. It was so funny. He goes, he goes. I was talking to her and then she, somebody said something and they were like, oh, that's cool. And she was like, can I just say, anybody who describes anything as cool, like is seriously lacking in vocab, something like that. And he was like, okay, oh, yeah, I yeah, that's, to to you again. That, I don't know if He catches a, the ick. Maybe that's an ick, yeah. But just when you hear something where you're like, oh, I think being somebody able to can catch, vote for Trump, I won't catch the ick. I think I think that will make me harder. Yeah. I think catching the ick is a sign of supreme confidence because you believe you know what you want. You know what you don't want. And you know that you will find someone else and that you're willing to drop this connection with someone based off an arbitrary thing that makes you feel weird. Yeah. If somebody drives with 10 and 2, I catch the ick. What? Like when somebody drives with two hands. Really? Oh, wow. what are you doing? If you're not Dude, adept with a vehicular device, how fuck do you. men like, that's why there's so many incels because these fucking losers are just existing. And these girls are like, you blank weird. But I am particularly bad. I am you not. You eat a My mom is like this. Wrong. My mom is like, oh, she will date the most beautiful women. The, the Cornell professors who are like 28 years old, like the hottest women. And they'll do one, one woman. I go, why did you break up with her? She was really into you. And she goes, she was always fixing her bangs. She was always fix her bangs. And I was like, mom, you're 62 years old. And she was like, it just was a sign of insecurity. She was always preoccupied with her fucking hair. That's a direct quote. The Jensen family line. The Cosentinis. Your, the Constantini family crest is a brain with spiders in it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. My yeah. sister. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, there was something in the water up in Ithaca. They live like that. All of our faces are like this at people when they're talking. It's always this like, <laughs> my mom, you'll talk to her and you'll be like, no, 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 please don't do the face. And she's like, what you're saying is just so incredibly stupid. And you're like, no, please love me. <laughs> mm. uh, wow, look at that. That flew by. Wait, yeah. what time is it? Oh. Oh, we get to go, right? Yeah, you got a shower. Yeah. Where are we going? Tell the Me people. And he, we're going to Louis C.K., Joe List, Sarah, Sarah Tolomash, Tolomash. Goo -Goo Googie. They made a movie <laughs> called Fourth <laughs> of July. July. Really good. I don't. I haven't seen much. Bobby Kelly. Yes. They uh, were edited. Louis was editing it when I was on the road with him. Saw some of it. Was Mike Vecchione, right? No. Katie Hannigan. Who else? Katie No Hannigan. <laughs> All right, that's the show. Woo! <laughs> Put that one in the books, baby. <laughs> what? Woo! Did we just become best friends? Yep. Great. <laughs>